So this is the best coffee brewing kit for beginners we can think of right now. AeroPress Go, small plastic V60 dripper, additional V60 paper filters, Hario hand grinder, Hario drip kettle, Timor digital scale, water filtration kettle. You can get it all for about 150 euros. Let's talk about the details and why we picked what we picked to start brewing coffee at home. I should start by saying that we didn't have a budget in mind. We didn't go for the cheapest or most expensive tools. We wanted the best value for money. The thought came to us when we hired a new video editor who likes to drink coffee but never makes proper coffee at home. Our goal was to get her excited about specialty coffee and pick coffee brewing kit that would give her the most options to learn, experiment and progress over time. We knew that besides instant or pre-ground coffee there were no more options at her household so we were almost starting from zero. Still, I asked four questions to dial in our options. Do you have an electric kettle? Answer is yes. Do you have any water filtration system? What's the quality of water? And do you have a kitchen scale? Answer is yes. That was enough insight for us to pick a list of seven items I mentioned earlier, plus some nice coffee beans that we will send her right after we finish filming. Let's start with coffee brewers. I picked the Airpress Go and small plastic V60 dripper with paper filters. If I pick only one, it would probably be Airpress as I see it as a more versatile brewer This is forgiving for beginners. But since the extra cost of an additional dripper with filters is less than 10 euros, I added it to the shopping list. This set of brewers will let her learn and practice two main styles of coffee brewing, immersion and pour over. What is nice about Airpress Go and why I prefer it over original Airpress is that it comes with a durable mug that we often use as a nice carafe even when brewing pour over coffee in our studio. It's one less thing to think about or to buy. Both Airpresses come with 350 paper filters which means you have a year or more of brewing without any additional cost. I picked small V60 to minimize the cost but also to save on ways of paper filters since she will brew mostly for herself. I quite like the plastic version since it's robust, lightweight and it has the best heat transfer from materials available. And also you need less water for preheating. Both coffee makers can make basically one cup of coffee, only up to 200 milliliters at a time, which would be a limiting factor for me personally, but it's actually good for our editor. Even if she wants to brew more, she's pushed to do multiple brewing, which is more practice that will help her to get better quickly. Grinder. Okay, grinder is a tricky one for me. Often, I would suggest either having no grinder at all and asking a local cafe or roastery to grind it for me, or invest into something of higher quality that can last for many years and is suitable for both filter coffee and espresso. Since option A is not possible as our editor is living in a small village and don't have regular access to cafes or roasteries, and option B would mean doubling or tripling the overall budget, and kind of spoiling a person who never made coffee at home, I ended up ordering this cheaper entry-level grinder with ceramic burrs from Hario. The idea is that it will help to create a habit of grinding coffee fresh just before brewing. It will also allow her experiment with different grind sizes and brewing recipes. At the price of 20 to 25 euros, is it still cheap enough to keep it as a backup grinder or travel option, even if she upgrades to higher quality hand grinder or electric grinder later on. What's also a lasting habit of ours is receiving a new issue of Standard Magazine every quarter. Issue 29 was no different and we had a blast listening to the mug while enjoying a cup of coffee. Some of our favorite reads from this issue is a Being a Barista interview with a fellow content creator and YouTuber Morgan Eckrow, known as Morgan Drinks Coffee on the Internet. A deep dive into the complicated issue of producing coffee in Democratic Republic of the Congo and a fun take on coffee cup psychology in which you learn Learn what the way you hold your cup of coffee tells people about you and your coffee preference. A small surprise at the back of this issue was a scratch card that will make one of the subscribers lucky by winning new Commandante X25 Trailmaster. Now, if you are still in doubt whether to grab a yearly subscription or not, we work with Standard to make it an easier decision. The first issue is on us. Go to standardmagcom ECT and grab a free issue of selected Standard Mac and just cover the shipping. Then you can decide if you keep the subscription or cancel it. It's completely up to you. Now let's get back to the essential coffee brewing kit list. Kettle. 
Good temperature control electric kettle with gooseneck is quite a big investment, yet using a regular kitchen kettle can be painful and very limiting for practicing coffee brewing at home. Since we knew she had a regular electric kettle already, we decided to get her this Hario Airdrip kettle, which costs about 18 euros. There are three main reasons that made us go in this direction. Number one, she will be brewing mainly light roasted coffee, so temperatures close to boil are okay. Number two, the spout will allow her to practice precision and hand movement required for pour over coffee. Number three, measuring water dose before brewing can help to reduce the complexity of the recipe at the beginning of learning. Scale. Actually, the most expensive item on the list is scale. We picked Timor Black Mirror model that costs about 55 euros. If you ask me to lower the budget and go under 100 euros total, this will be the first item to remove, as she already has an alternative at home. Still, I decided to spend more money because I want to give her a tool that is precise enough to follow most coffee brewing recipes we share. And I wanted to have a scale that measures and displays both weight and time on the same device. And I also don't expect the scale to be replaced anytime soon. Hopefully, it will be good enough for many years to come, which will justify the higher investment. Water filtration. We know that she has a hard tap water at home, which is not very good for coffee brewing. The least we can do at this stage is to use a regular water filter jack. We picked one from Brita for her and we use one from BWT at the studio. I guess there are differences, but I think most of similar jacks will perform similarly. The downside of this solution is the recurring cost of filter replacements. But unless you are lucky with soft, clean tap water, it's good use of resources to get most of the tasty coffee you want to brew. Coffee. Speaking of coffee, we will of course send her some coffee beans to grind and brew. We got a bag of Ethiopian coffee beans roasted by our colleague Tomolasa at Beeberry. It's washed sweet coffee with nice but not overwhelming acidity. I believe that's a good for star as I don't know many people who wouldn't like coffee from Ethiopia. And we are also adding two samples of some of our favorite coffees we have in the studio right now. One is Savage Coffee from Panama roasted by Hard Beans in Opole and Costa Rican Specialty Lot roasted by Black and Bloom in Granite. Okay, that was our take on the best coffee brewing kit for people starting to brew coffee at home. What would be in your beginner's coffee brewing kit? Let us know in the comment section and do you know what? Lenka, our editor, will be editing this video for you while brewing tasty coffee already. Thanks for watching, bye bye.